don't buy luxury cars instead do this today we're gonna be talking about this topic up here buy a to a toyota get it paid off drive it forever and then invest the save money in appreciating assets i would agree with this and i would even say maybe even a honda hondas are great cars but i think the point of this topic is buy a reliable car so many people buy these luxury cars and it blows my mind how expensive these cars are and how unreliable they are it makes like no sense to me but if you just invest in a good car as we always talk about a vehicle is to get you point a point b have it be reliable so you don't have to worry about it costing you more money and just use that same car over and over don't worry about upgrading and just invest your money cars i think are the biggest trap for people in life keeping biggest trap for the middle class and lower class because people think that a, a car is a status symbol and man it's an expensive status symbol because they cost salaries so and they just hold you back for years on years end so but kirby what do you got on this uh this is right here was what set me free um like i said and we've talked about in previous videos doing opposite of what you've seen everybody else do I mean, I saw growing up, especially in the military, in the military, you get a higher rank in the military, and then you got to get a car that justify the rank. And um, I'm not going to lie. I was guilty of that. Um, I started off with a uh, my first car, fresh in the military. My first car was a Saturn with the manual windows. I know you don't know nothing about that. Manual yes, I do. You had I'm not that old. You had I'm that. not that uh, young. I mean, yeah. okay. <laughs> but yeah, I had the, I had the manual windows on that joint. So I had the manual windows and then I was paying like 16, 17% interest on it. Man, that thing was, oh, it was, it was, I mean, it was like the base, base, base model of the car. And then from there, I got a couple of promotions. I deployed to Iraq. I got a couple of promotions. Then I got the uh, the Hyundai Tiburon, the little sports car manual. I was in Germany. I learned how to drive a manual. I got me a Tiburon. It had had electric windows. Now I upgraded. So <laughs> now I'm, I'm I'm in there. And then so uh, I I get promoted a couple more times. And then uh, but the thing is, I'm still living paycheck to paycheck, super broke because of course the insurance high because I'm not even 21. I mean I'm not over 25. So then, um, so after that, I get promoted some more. And then the last car I bought was the Ford Explorer. Remember the old Ford Explorer? Uh, I bought that one. And then I held on to it for 15 years, 15 years. Uh, I think I think I paid it off after about four or five years. I paid off the, the truck and I just held on to it. And I held on to it. And then that 500, because the uh, payment on that was like 500 a month. And then you add an insurance, so that's another, you know, so about six seventy a month. And then so I paid it off, and then now that five hundred a month was money that I got back. And then so I did the math, and I said, oh, back then Roth IRA, you can put up to fifty five hundred dollars into the Roth IRA. And then so I was like, well, now I saved five thousand dollars a month, or five thousand or five hundred dollars a month is not going out of my paycheck to pay for this car. Now I'll just fully fund my Roth. And then that's what I did. I mean, I just used the vehicle. I'm not, you know, Alex, you know me, I'm not a person that loves to drive. So I'm just using it point A to point B. And then I start realizing just how much something that costs so much, it, the utility of it is not that much. You know, I drive to work, it'll sit in the parking lot for 12 hours, I'll drive home. Then, you know, maybe go out and get something to eat or go to the grocery store and then come home. And then the car just sits, it has really no utility. And so I was proud of myself that I paid it off and then I didn't get another car. And I I ran with that car for, like I said, 15 years. I just gave it away, uh, what was it, a year or two years ago? I finally gave the car away because it literally was just sitting in my driveway. And then my family was, you know, they was living in Europe and I wasn't driving nowhere. So I was like, well, somebody else could put it to better use. The car still works today. It's still on the road today. And uh, it was to have an ability to, you know, bless or help somebody else out in their time. I gave the car away so they can use it. Family flew in, took, got the car, and then they did, did what they do, they do with it. They still driving it today. So love that fact.
Uh, but that's what set me up. Uh, that fully funded my Roth just by not having that car payment. It fully funded the Roth. It fully funded a lot of uh, that aspect of my life. So now I'm already preparing for my future because I already knew pension plans was out the window. I'm not in the military anymore. So wasn't getting that pension either. And then when we moved here to Florida, uh, I bought my wife a Toyota. I'm saying I bought my wife, but we bought the car. It's not my money, her money. We bought the Toyota, paid cash for it, and then still have the Toyota to the day. So that's what another 10 years holding that car. But not having that three, four hundred dollar a month car payment, you know, gave us the ability to fund other things, other investments, you know. Like as you know, I we have Roth IRAs, we have 401ks, and then we have uh, individual brokerage accounts. I have one, my wife has one. My wife invests in the stocks and stuff that she loves to invest in and things like that. But because we don't have those monthly payments or monthly expenses, that's all the money that we can use to fund other things, fund our future. And Alex, as you know, we're big foodies, so give us more money to go out and eat with. So, So that's... That's that's that was the one big life hack that we used was just realizing that cars are just utilities. You know, when I grew up, the car was a status symbol. You want to let people know that you have money, you got to get the car to show you you have money. But in reality, all of their money is going towards that car, so that's all they have is that status symbol. They have the envy of other people. They have, but in truth and reality, if a hundred or if a thousand dollar or two thousand dollar emergency show up. They calling people like you, like me, that don't have car payments to try to bail them out. So I'm glad that I'm not in that situation. I don't care if anybody know I have a dime. I mean, as you know, my mantra is always, if you show people you have money, you just become a target. Because people in general are lazy. They're going to try to find ways to extract the money out of you if you're not going to give it to them, no matter if it's friends or family or whatever. So, But I believe not having a car payment and using that money for more utility things will take you a lot a lot further away than keep having car payments and moving up in car just to appease the neighbors and please appease friends and family. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like I was saying, I think car payments are just the biggest thing that holds people back. Um, I think that in the beginning, you should just be buying used cars. Dave Ramsey always talks about don't buy a brand new car. I think his rule is like until it's until you have a million dollar net worth, there's like different rule of thumbs. Like you say, like uh, if it's less than, I think, one percent of your net worth or whatever. Um, yeah, cars are just liabilities. People don't really understand that. And you can buy a good used car. And it's funny because I remember and uh, we talked about it the other day, but like we, we were the the short we just put out talking about used cars like used not certified pre-owned like it you know six seven thousand dollar used car from like when people say like they got a used car and it's newer than when it is like from 2010 and up i'm like that's a new car like that's not a used car <laughs> like, right. goodness people like no man it's got to be 2009 and below that that's a used car but you know people they want to put so much money into they just like they say they want to go the cheaper route and get a used car but at the same time they want to impress other people like they want to show people like they have a nice car it shouldn't if you're really on a financial journey it shouldn't matter how nice the car is just get something that operates and just does the job it's that that's that's all it is but with all that being said, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button, uh, share this video, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you guys in the next one.